Update with Dr. Sanjaya, your favorite sex doctor. So, when is the last time you played with yourself? <gasps> I really hope it was recently because self-loving is one of the safest and healthiest things that you can do for yourself. But apparently, everybody already knows this. Because according to a recent study, 95% of men in America and 89% of women wow themselves regularly. Now, in addition to stimulating smiles, the health benefits of banging yourself should really make it a mandatory activity for everyone, including you. Did you know that men who ejaculate five times per week reduce the risk for prostate cancer? Wow! And the good news is that the ejaculation does not have to happen with another human being. So, in case you are wondering, uh, porn does have its purpose. <laughs> and women who help themselves to orgasms can prevent cervical infections and relieve urinary tract infections. Now, equally important, if a woman knows how to wow herself, she's much more likely to have a more exhilarating experience with her penetrating partner. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly why Tina Gong created Happy Playtime. Now this is a sex education game that supports self-stimulation among women. And just like you imagined, the game features a smiling vulva, appropriately named Happy, who helps ladies learn to cultivate a self-inspired climax. <sighs> and although plenty of sexy women play games on their iPhones, Happy Playtime will not be appearing on an iPhone anytime soon because Apple has rejected the app. Ooh. Apparently they're worried that women may just get too happy. Now this reminds me of the old days when sexually frustrated women were classified as hysterical and the only course of treatment was to bring her to the doctor so he could stimulate her sex spots with a handheld vibrator. <laughs> now on the surface, this sounds a lot like masturbation except a man was involved, which made it more acceptable, but perhaps uh, less educational for the female. As discussed in my book, Sex in South Beach, over 70% of sexually active women do not achieve an orgasm through intercourse. That's tragic, right? <laughs> but this is not because something's wrong with their body. It's because either her or her partner needs some education about how to inspire a climax. Now this is where happy playtime could really lend a helping hand. <laughs> now in addition to the orgasmic benefits, individuals who instigate their own sexual satisfaction relieve stress, keep their heart rate, blood pressure, reproductive system, and brain chemistry in tip top shape. In other words, mastering masturbation is kind of like an all over exercise or a rather a sexercise session. <laughs> and while I suspect it's the men over there at Apple who are scared of happy playtime, there is no need to be. Because as wonderful as self-stimulation can be, it's not really a substitute for sex with another human being. Mm -hmm. Studies show that sex with someone else is up to 400 times more satisfying than sex with yourself. Well, that is if you know how to do it right. <laughs> Which is really where a happy playtime could teach the ladies an important lesson. So let's liberate the ladies and let them harness their own orgasms because happiness is a basic human right. <laughs> now it's time to expand your intellect because being smart is another human right. So let's go to the love lingo. Today's word of the day is computees. Talking dirty on the internet, as in, isn't it ironic that so many iPhone apps allow computees, but none teach women how to take care of themselves in the sack? <laughs> For your daily dose of Nikki knowledge, follow Dr. Sanjaya on all the social media outlets. I really appreciate you watching, and I hope I made your hump day happier. Ciao.